piece it together. Now you mentioned a third technology. What's that? Well, sometimes accidents aren't avoidable, and, and, and sometimes grandma and grandpa are being transported in the back seat of a car. And uh, what we find is when we look at injuries and fatalities over the age distribution, we all know about teenagers and their risks and their inexperience. They're a little more risk-taking. They're not wearing their seatbelts as often as they should be. Well, at the other end of the spectrum, we found a phenomenon where the fatality rates were going up with older people. Mm -hmm. And uh, we did a little bit further, deeper study. And what we find is, is most people do survive an accident. But what happens as you get older, your bones get a little bit more brittle. And there's a higher incidence of rib fractures. With rib fractures, it becomes painful to breathe. When it becomes painful to breathe, you have a higher risk of pneumonia and therefore complications from pneumonia. Yeah, breathing and that can light. be serious. Mm -hmm. So what we've done is we've developed an option. It's a rear seat inflatable belt. So We've taken the combination of two technologies that are well proven, seat belts save lives, airbags save lives, and we put them together in one. And so in the rear upward passengers of the Explorer, of a Flex, or of a Lincoln MKT, in an accident, the shoulder harness portion of the airbag, of the seat belt, will blow up into like a sausage shape. And what that does is it distributes loads over five times greater area than a conventional seat belt. It takes the slack out of the system, it distributes the loads, and it, what it does is it greatly reduces, virtually eliminates the risk of rib fracture. In the blink of an eye, vehicle sensors will determine the severity of a crash. If required, each belt's tubular airbag inflates with cold compressed gas that flows through a specially designed buckle. The belts would inflate at a slower rate than a traditional airbag and help control head and neck motion for rear seat occupants, including the more vulnerable passengers, young children and the elderly. It's safe. The other neat thing about it is because it's a little bit padded in the belt, it's more comfortable to wear. How often do you hear people say about, oh, the belt's a little uncomfortable, it's digging into my shoulder. It's a little bit more padded. We've got research from people told us it is more comfortable. We need to encourage people to wear their seat belts and not many people in the back seat do, only about 60 percent do and we really want to get everybody buckled up because that truly does save lives. The well, neat thing about yeah. it though is what about my grandchildren? You put an airbag where children could be seated? Right. The neat thing is we've tested it with child seats, with children, with sleeping children, their head on the belt and the whole bit. Because the the bag is already where it needs to be. It doesn't need to be this powerful explosion coming into people. It just goes puff, sort of outward, and so it's safe for children as well. Mm -hmm.